Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Acer Aspire 3, the 2025 variant. Now, this model has a i3, i5, i7, it has got Ryzen AMD processors also. And if you are planning to buy this particular laptop, then this is the video for you. Or maybe you've already purchased this laptop and you want to basically upgrade uh, RAM, put a hard drive or SSD, or maybe replace a battery or maybe time and data is not working, then this is the video for you. So the model that we have today has got a core i5 13 generation processor, it has got a 8 GB RAM, it has got 512 GB SSD, it's got Windows 11 on board and it does not have MS Office. The price is approximately around 45,000 rupees here in India and this is a fairly decent laptop at the given price point for the 13 generation series of i5 processors. So in this video, we're going to be showing you the entire laptop in detail as well as we're going to be upgrading uh, the entire laptop, RAM, SSD, everything has to be done. So starting with the top panel over here, uh, you can see this, uh, we are reviewing the silver edition and there are other colors also, black also is available, but silver is the most uh, famous for Acer on this particular series. So it looks very nice, it looks very premium for this particular price point. It's got this matte finish, the Acer logo is engraved very nicely and it's got this squarish, uh, you know, ends. At this particular uh, side, it's got the rounded edges. Let's see if the laptop opens with uh, one, hand, one hand operation. Let's see the hinge stability on this. Oh, absolutely. It opens up absolutely fine. There's no problem whatsoever. The hinges actually go all the way to 180 degrees. Once you open the laptop, uh, you can see a web camera. You can see a webcam shutter also. And it's got a three-sided uh, nano bezel. The screen is very good. It's got a full HD IPS uh, panel. And uh, it has got black color. It's got dual tone. The screen inner is, is entirely black and the thing is silver. And the touchpad also is uh, pretty nicely placed. It has got the same color all over. There's no gray or there is no other uh, tone to it. The keyboard quality is not all that great. The keyboard is very, very basic looking. The speaker seems to be placed over here. There are uh, these vent vents, uh, which you might feel that they are speakers, but they are not speaker. They're not front firing speakers here. The key uh, size is good, but the key travel is not all that great. The touchpad is awesome. I mean, it's a huge touchpad and very responsive touchpad. It does not have a backlit keyboard for this uh, price range. Uh, only Acer Aspire 5 has got a backlit. So it has got these uh, power, uh, numlock and caps lock uh, indicator. That is a very good thing. Most laptops nowadays don't have that. It's got a separate numlock key also. The keyboard is laid out uh, very nicely. It's got this uh, matte finish on the inside also. So on the side, uh, you have a barrel jack uh, DC uh, charging pin connector. You have a you have a 3.1 C type USB connector. You have a HDMI 2.1. You have another uh, USB 3.2 full uh, USB. You have a Kensington lock, and the design seems to be uh, very nicely done. In the front, the you can actually there is a little bit of protrusion, so you can just uh, open the laptop using that little bit of area that has carved out. On the right, you have a mini memory SSD, mini SD memory card reader. You have another two USB 3.2 ports, full USB ports, and you have an Ethernet port. That's a great thing to have. And you have a headphone mic combi. On the rear, there are no iOS whatsoever. The base is uh, very clutter free again. You can see the bottom firing speaker uh, perforation, and you can see the perforation for uh, air vents. So let's see the audio quality of this laptop. Quite loud. Quite loud, a little tinny, it does not have a good amount of... They are quite loud, uh, it's a little tinny, but uh, they could have given some more bass to it, but that's okay, at this price point, you're getting this particular uh, speaker. Now, let's see how is the webcam quality. So by default, this uh, supports 720p uh, recording only. Video has been uh, taken from the, the camera of the Acer Aspire 3 2025 variant, 
and uh, the video quality is not all that great uh, as you can see the mic is good although because it has got a dual array microphone so uh, an average uh, webcam on this particular laptop so all in all looks uh, pretty neat uh, good black and uh, silver combination that they have given let's uh, dig deep into this thing and uh, explore the laptop further so you need a screwdriver and uh, you need a triangle if you want to open this particular Acer laptop first thing first ideally you place it uh, on a surface like this so there are no scratches and just uh, put it like this now you see all these screws and you also see this particular uh, Acer seal that has been put over here unfortunately take a cutting player and just remove this particular uh, stickering keep it uh, on one side you can just put it here like this now you need to take a star screwdriver all of these are star screwdrivers only just need to start removing the screws from the hinges side this screw will not come out this will come out these are relatively small screws over here so you have to keep them separately this screw will not come out as you can see oh it's come out wow so this must also come out i think yeah yeah so two big screws and two small screws then the side screws are also very small and the base screws also all the screws have been removed now you need to take a triangular prior like this and start prying from the hinges area just create a small cavity and start prying all over and uh, this part you can just open like this and the base is in front of you so this is the way the interiors of the Acer Aspire 3 irrespective of the processor that you have look like this is the RAM bay area this is where the SSDs are to be put now there are two SSD slots this is the way, place where the battery is put so let's start with the battery first we need to remove uh, the battery screws over here now the battery is connected with this connector over here power connector just need to push it out and uh, there are these cables which are there holding on to the battery you just need to remove them and uh, over here also this is the battery that you need to buy if you want to replace the battery of this particular laptop it is a 4780mAh 55.21 watt hour battery and uh, the model name is T1561U 5759.83 or 3ICP65.83 so there is a quite a good amount of uh, battery that Acer has given for this particular laptop let's keep the laptop battery on this side now coming to the part where the SSD is now you can see there are two SSD slots over here so this is M.2 NVMe this one is also M.2 NVMe this is Gen 3 this is Gen 4 here it is mentioned as SATA but we have tested this is a Gen 3 supported SSD and this is up to Gen 4 7000 Mbps you can put the SSD that is there on this particular thing let's open it and see so the SSD is covered by one thermal pasting so it's it's got a fairly unbranded SSD uh, Maxio is what is mentioned over here so you can take uh, a one terabyte or a two terabyte gen 4 NVMe SSD and you can just insert it onto this and you can upgrade your uh, storage space as well as you can put the same SSD on this particular thing this is a gen 4 uh, you can take a gen 3 NVMe SSD same form factor 2280 and you can just insert it like this you will also be able to boot from this particular uh, say in a scenario one of the either of the slots is not working you can put this uh, SSD over here and try but this is a gen 3 SSD that you should know so let me just put it back into this and let us put the screws back so total upgrade capacity of 2 terabyte plus 2 terabyte up to 4 terabyte you can upgrade this particular laptop that's a fantastic thing for a entry level it might be a i3 or a i5 this is what acer gives you now coming to the ram part there are uh, two ram bays so this is the first ddr 
So this is again covered by nicely covered by some shielding over here. So let us just open it for the benefit of the viewers here. All right. So it's got a 8 GB DDR4 3200 AA uh, CL22 memory over here. You can just take a similar uh, 8 GB or 16 GB. This RAM has a total upgrade capacity of 16 plus 16, 32 GB. So this, this is the RAM. You can buy a Kingston or a Crucial or a Transcend, any brand. But it has to be a 3200 AA DDR4. 1 hour is to 8. Even 2 hours to 8 also is okay. But try to match the rank. This is the one rank RAM that uh, has been put. So just take a similar RAM like this and you can insert in this particular slot. Just press it and uh, you are good to go. Now coming to the part where the fan is, just need to remove this screw over here. Another screw. In a scenario, you want to clean your fan. You just need to remove these two screws. The entire heatsink is connected. So this is the taping that is there. So if you want, you can remove this particular taping and only remove this particular fan or you have to remove one, two, three screws so that uh, this entire heatsink comes out and then you can remove the taping and you can clean that particular fan area. So if your time and date, uh, there is an issue, then you have to change this particular uh, CMOS cell, this small connector over here, you can just remove it. You can uh, buy a similar CMOS cell. This is a CR2032, uh, typical CR2032 cell and you can just again uh, put it back into where it is. Alright. So the wiring here is a little clumsy, I, I can see that. The Wi-Fi chip is uh, soldered on the motherboard. You cannot replace the Wi-Fi chip. If the Wi-Fi is not working, you cannot do anything about it. And uh, this is the VGA cable. In a scenario, you are not getting display. You just want to check. You can remove this particular tape. You can just remove the connector. This is a front loading connector over here. You can just use and uh, it will come out like this. You can remove this display cable and again uh, fit it once. Many times there is some copper deposit and that's the reason the display does not come. And you can comfortably uh, do this particular display cable arrangement. Now this is the daughter board uh, which is uh, connected to the motherboard via this cable. So if your uh, these ports are not working or even the DC jack is not working then this entire daughter board needs a replacement. This is the speaker part here. Uh, these are front firing speakers. These are bottom firing speaker actually. So these are only held by a little glue over here. So if you can remove uh, this screw, one particular uh, connector is over here and the same thing uh, is over here. So you just need to remove this speaker. You need to take a similar uh, speaker like this, this kind of a speaker. All right, and uh, you can just replace it very comfortably if the speaker of your uh, laptop is not working. All right, so let's uh, put things back in their place. and uh, put the battery connector back. The wiring with Acer has always been a little clumsy. They have been this way. So really can't help. I'll put this particular thing back over here. You can put the screws back. Just put the cover back like this and just start pressing all the corners. There will be crackling sound. That's okay. These are all flyer, flower bracket arrangements. And now start putting the screws back. Start with the big screws of the hinge first. Just check if there is any protruding uh, base and just flip the laptop. 
and you are good to go. So this my friends was a video showing you the Acer Aspire 3. Now things that you should know, this particular laptop has got two M.2 NVMe SSD slots. Uh, although it is mentioned M.2 SATA, it, you can put a Gen 3 NVMe in the second slot also. That's a fantastic thing to have for an entry level laptop. Now Core i3, somewhere around 35,000 rupees, a 13 generation laptop. We are having two NVMe SSD slots at this price point is a steal. Core i5 also, Ryzen 5, all the models, the look and feel remains the same, the outlook remains the same and the process to upgrade the entire laptop remains the same. So we have shown you how to replace the RAM, uh, put a new SSD, also a CMOS cell, the battery, you have also replaced the fan inside and literally everything. The Wi-Fi chip is soldered on this particular laptop and uh, there was, there was a notion that uh, maybe there is uh, upgradability is not there on this particular uh, RAM. One RAM is soldered, but uh, Acer has given both the RAM, RAM slots are open. So it's a very good thing to have. So you can upgrade up to 32 GB. You can put up to 2 terabyte plus 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte NVMe SSDs. The battery backup also is fantastic. It, it comes around 6 to 7 hours comfortably in our tests here. The webcam quality is average. The speaker is also average. And the screen quality is fantastic. It's got full HD IPS panel and uh, real nice vivid screen uh, colors that we could see over here. The read write speed on the SSD is good on the Gen 4 on which by default it comes. The Gen 4 slot, it gives you around 4,500 uh, Mbps read and write. And on the Gen 3, it gives you up to 3,500 Mbps. So if you want to upgrade to a higher uh, Gen 4, you can do so comfortably. Thank you so much for watching uh, our video guys. Uh, do let us know of your suggestions and comments and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much.